If you could just state your first and last name and then spell it out for me. Yeah, absolutely. I'm Captain Brian Kesselring. That's B-R-I-A-N-K-E-S-S-E-L-R-I-N-G. -S -S -E and I'm the commanding officer and flight leader of the Blue Angels. Awesome. Well, so this is your guys' first time back since 2015. Yeah. How do you, how exciting is that? Well, it's, it's phenomenal. To be able to get out here after almost eight years away, uh, it's something that the team is truly blessed. This is a hub for the Navy and Marine Corps. To be able to come out here uh, is truly special. There's so much history that goes back here, so much naval aviation history. Uh, if you think really the, the first days of naval aviation were kind of uh, solidified after the attack of Pearl Harbor and its importance upon, upon the world and our military and our nation. So to come out here and be able to represent over 800,000 active duty, reserve, and civilian support personnel in this community per, uh, per se is actually fantastic. And then on top of that, we represent everybody who's ever served. And uh, it's uh, no better fitting place than to come back out uh, to Hawaii to be able to do that. So we're pumped to be here. It's our 76th anniversary, the second year flying the Super Hornet and the C-130J Super Hercules, which we call Fat Albert, uh, lovingly, of course. And it's the first time we're gonna ever have these platforms over the skies of uh, Hawaii, and we're pumped to do it. That's awesome. And I heard you guys took um, a couple of cancellations during COVID and a little bit of a break. So how does it feel to be back in full swing after COVID? Yeah, we did much like the rest of the nation. We were on a pause from air shows and, and some of those public events, but we were grinding away practicing the whole time, right? So it's a very perishable skill. Uh, but it, out of the days of COVID, what we've seen this year is absolutely uh, record crowds. It's been sellouts. And I think that's just the nation wanting to get out. It's also a chance for the nation to see our team, which they haven't seen. We've also had a, uh, an increased level of excitement after the uh, top Gun 2 movie came out. You see a lot of those t-shirts around. Uh, so I get some of that interest in, uh, in naval aviation, which is uh, warranted. It's a fantastic uh, thing to be a part of. Including myself. I'm a Top Gun fanatic. Right. Um, so yeah, speaking of like crowds, big crowds, how does it, how excited are you to see like the whole island come out together to watch you guys? Well, it's unbelievable. I mean, even just flying in here, I mean, County Mayo Bay is one of the most beautiful places on earth. And uh, to be able to come in here and do an air show over this uh, this part of our nation is, is fantastic. And uh, we look forward to bringing our air show to, uh, to the uh, Hawaii public and uh, invite them to come on out and have a great time. I know we're going to have a great time. And I, I hope you guys do. And speaking of beautiful places to fly, other than Hawaii, where where is your favorite place that you guys have flown? Well, of course, it's my hometown back in Fargo, North Dakota. But the second best is probably, I don't know, there's, they're iconic. They're fantastic uh, places all across this nation. One of the wonderful things about this particular tour is we go to 32 show sites a year. We're on the road 300 days a year all around this great nation. And the Navy, being in the Navy and Marine Corps, uh, we get a chance to see the world, but uh, seldom we get a chance to spend that much time across the nation and each and every place each and every locale that we go to is special uh, for its own reason yeah there's some definitely some great places it's tough to beat Hawaii though as far as uh, the iconic and, and beautiful uh, beautiful area that it is I agree and speaking of moving around all the time how does it feel to like be on the go all the time you know like do you guys ever get a break oh we do you know not in this particular tour so about, about 300 days a year is what we're on the road uh, whether we're in our training out in california or we're on the road here uh doing our air shows but uh you know it's part of part of the navy marine corps life and we're blessed and honored to be able to represent our brothers and sisters in arms and do that for them awesome all part of the job i heard that you guys are quite a team uh, could you tell me a little bit more about how you get on the team and uh, how close you guys are well absolutely that's a that's a great question and i'll tell you uh we have 141 both uh, navy and marine corps personnel that uh, at a minimum probably have six to seven years of uh, service uh all the way up to myself having uh, almost done 22 years of service for uh, uh for the country and i'll tell you uh they all apply it's all a volunteer job to apply to come here and they go through a rigorous uh, application process obviously it's very competitive uh, once we select those folks they go through another six to six months plus of training uh, to be able to wear their crest and to, to uh, do their first air show and it's very special a lot of times uh, units and, and different organizations will talk about a family bond but in the Blue Angels it truly is uh, we spend so much time together uh, that, uh, that truly it's a family ties and one of the coolest things about this uh, job is the ties that we have in the, inside this team we have 141 personnel that are hand selected that represent areas of expertise, whether it be administration, medical, uh, logisticians, we've got maintenance professionals, flood engineers, uh, as well as public affairs folks, and certainly air crew as well, that all, all are required to put on the air show that you'll see this weekend. And how does it feel to be a leader on this team? 
Well, it's fantastic. I'll tell you, as cool as it is, I mean, this is definitely some awesome airmanship that you'll see this weekend if you come to the air show. But as much of a testament as the airship, uh, airmanship, uh, it's even a greater testament to teamwork. It's all about teamwork here. And to be the leader of this team and to be able to uh, work around these folks is something that I absolutely cherish. Uh, there's a saying we have in the Blue Angels, it's called glad to be here. And we say it a lot. Uh, and really what it means is we have a, a relentless pursuit of optimism as well as perfection. And it's tough to have a bad day in the Blue Angels, whether you don't have enough, uh, don't have enough sleep, or uh, maybe you're feeling under the weather. You walk into this, and everybody's going to pick you up, uh, raise your spirits, and get you ready to rock for uh, to conquer the day. Uh, 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 one thing's for sure, I'll definitely be at this show. And and what do you have to say to the community or the the other little boys and girls looking up to you guys in the sky? Well, here, you know, if I was to simplify our mission for the Amer American public in one word, it's to inspire.